one the, the one thing is you know it is very uh, difficult for somebody to immediately come to rural india or rural china and start something what i would suggest is that that uh, if a student in the united states you have the access to technology you have access to finances you tie up with an ngo in developing country and work through them in trying to see if you can develop a, a product and then get venture capital in fact one of the greatest things that i find now lacking is a venture capital for a lot of these um, uh, rural development pro projects there's a huge amount of venture capitalism uh, capital available for it there's a huge amount of venture capital available now for, lucky, uh, luckily for the liquid fuels but for some of the basic products of the rural development there's no venture capital available so this is something which uh, which the business school students can do very well they can give a former team so um, uh, see how they can get a venture capital tie up with an ngo in a developing country and see just take one project and see how it goes for example we have developed a very extremely efficient uh, electric cycle rickshaw because if you know the electric cy the uh, cycle rickshaw is uh, has not been uh, des uh, has a, is a very old invention it's very inhuman to drive it so we totally modified it totally engineered it with three speed um, uh, gears and braking system etc and then we put a small motor and uh, we uh, made a electric cycle rickshaw quite a number of these our cycle rickshaws we have exported to europe and america and uh, i feel that um, uh, a model by the students on to use it in developing countries on a large scale would be a very useful thing and then there are so many other things that we have on our site uh, and uh, they can look at it plus there are so many other ngos that they can tie up with it